Welcome back. 643 is your time this morning and today the History Colorado State Historians Council will host a roundtable to discuss the Ku Klux Klan's influence in our state. History Colorado recently digitized KKK ledgers, making them accessible to researchers everywhere. Our social equity reporter Micah Smith explains how this move will support racial reconciliation. The Ku Klux Klan's history in Colorado is extensive. And tangible proof of that history can be found on the pages of these ledgers. Here at History Colorado, uh, in our collection, we have KKK ledgers from 1924 to 1926. Uh, in the Denver area. History Colorado Chief Operating Officer Dawn DePrint says they've been in the museum's collection since the 1940s. Recently, we have digitized those letters so that they are more accessible to the public and the searchable nature of them helps researchers and the public uh, come to some understandings around what's in these ledgers. One of the most shocking discoveries within these ledgers is the number of entries. There are 30,000 between these two books. Do you really get a grasp of how widespread and pervasive um, this, this was in, in our city? DePrint says the ledgers show where Klan members lived and worked. And that can really help you see how this was woven into much of public life and structures of power. We cannot do the anti-racist work that we need to be doing if we cannot confront this type of evidence of, of our past. DePrint says these relics continue to inform us of who we are, which is imperative when thinking about how Coloradans can move forward toward a more equitable and just future.